असला तो असलम लेके या रसोल असलम लेके या हबीब अल्लाह प्यार भी बस उम्मीद करता हूँ आप तमाम दोस्त सब खैरियत से होंगे अल्लाह ताला आप तमाम दोस्तों को सेहत के साथ लंबी ज़िंदगी अता फरमाए मेरी आप तमाम दो लोगों से गुजारिश है कि मेरी वीडियो को देखें अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आए तो मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और घंटे और लाइक के बटन को दबा दें बहुत शुक्रिया सेक्शन टू हंड्रेड एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ कम्प्लेनट ए मजिस्ट्रेट टेकिंग कॉग्निजेंस ऑफ एन ऑफेंस ऑन कम्प्लेंट शल एट वंस एग्जामाइन द कम्प्लेनट अपॉन ओथ एंड द सबस्टेंस ऑफ द एग्जामेशन शैल बी रिड्यूस टू राइटिंग एंड शैल बी साइन बाई द कम्प्लेनट एंड आल्सो बाई द मजिस्ट्रेट प्रोवाइडेड एज फॉलोज ए वैम द कम्प्लेनट इज मेड इन राइटिंग नथिंग हेयर एंड कंटेन शैल बी डीम टू रिक्वायर टू रिकॉर्ड रिक्वायर रिक्वायर ए मजिस्ट्रेट टू एग्जामाइन Complainant before transferring the case under Section 192 or sending it to the court of session. A A. When the complaint is made in writing, nothing herein uh, contained shall be deemed to uh, require the examination of a complainant in any case in which the complaint has been made by a court or by a public. servant acting or purporting to act in the discharging of his official duties c when the case has been transferred under section 192 and the magistrate so transferring it has already examined the complainant the magistrate to whom it is so transferred that not to be bound to re-examination the complainant section 201 procedure by uh, magistrate not competent to take cognizance of the case number 1 if the complainant has uh, has been made in writing to, to to a magistrate who is not competent to take cognizance of the case he shall return the complaint for presentation to the proper court with the endorsement to that effect number 2 if the complaint has not been made in writing such magistrate shall direct the direct the complaint to the proper court section 202 post postponement is Uh, postponement of issues of process any court on a receipt of a complaint of an offence of which is authorized to take cognizance or which has been sent to it under section 190 sub section 3 or transferred to it under section 191 or uh, section 192 may if it thinks fit for reason to be regarded recorded post form the issue of process for comp- complaint compelling the attendance of the person complainant against and other require into the case itself or direct any inquiry of investigation to be made by any justice of the peace or by a police officer or by other person as it thinks fit for the purpose of uh, ascertaining the truth or falsehood of the complaint provided that uh, same where the complaint complaint has been made by court is court no such direction shall be made unless the complaint has been examined in on oath under the provisions of section 200 Number two, a court of session may, instead of directing an investigation under the provisions of subsection one, direct the investigation to be made by any magistrate subordinate to it for the purpose of ascertaining the truth or falsehood of the complainant. Number three. If any inquiry or investigation under this section is made by a magistrate, made by a person 
not being a magistrate or justice of peace or a police officer, such a person shall exercise all the powers can conferred uh, by this code on an officer in charge of police station except that he shall not have power to arrest without warrant. Number four, any court inquiring it into a case under this section may, if it thinks fit, take evidence of uh, witnesses on oath. Section 203 Dismissal of Complaint The court before whom a complaint is made or to whom it has been transferred or sent may dismiss the complaint complaint if after considering the statement on oath if any of the complainant and the result of the investigation or inquiry if any under section 202 there is in the, in his judgment no sufficient ground for uh, proceeding in shall and in such a case he shall briefly record his uh, reasons for so doing Section 203A Complaint in case of Zina <coughs> No court shall uh, take cognizance of an, uh, of an uh, offence under Section 5 of the Offence of Zina Enforcement of Hadood Ordinance 1979 except uh, on a complaint lodged in a court of competent jurisdiction. Number two, the presiding officer of a court taking cognizance of an offence on a complainant shall an offence examine the complainant and at least for four adult eyes eyewitnesses upon oath of the act of zina necessary to the offence. Number three, the substance of the examination of the complainant and the eyewitnesses shall be uh, reduced to taking to, to writing and shall be signed by the complainant and the eyewitnesses and also by the presiding officer of the court. Number four, <coughs> if in the opinion of presiding officer of the court there is a sufficient ground or ground for proceeding the court shall be shall issue a summons for the personal attendance of the accused number five the presiding officer of a court before whom a complaint are made to made or to whom it has been transferred may dismiss the complaint if after considering the statements on oath of the complainant and the four or more eyewitnesses <clears throat> there is in his judgment no sufficient ground for proceeding and in such case he shall record his reasons for so doing. Section 203b Complainant, Complaint in case of Kaz Subject to sub section 2 of uh, section 6 no com court shall take cognizance of an offence under section 7 of the offence of Qazf, enforcement of Hath Ordinance 1979, <coughs> except on a complaint lodged in a court of competent jurisdiction. Number 2. The President Officer of a court taking cognizance of an offence on a complaint, sh uh, complaint sh shall at once examine the complainant of the act of Qazf necessary to the offence. Number 3. The uh, substance of the examination of the competent uh, complainant shall be reduced to writing and shall be signed by the complainant and also by the presiding officer of the court. Number 4. The, if in the opinion of the presiding officer of a court there is sufficient ground for proceeding the court shall issue summons for the personal attendance of the accused. 
Number point, the president of Isra of a court before whom a, whom a complaint is made or to whom it has been transferred may de- dismiss the complaint if after considering the statements on oath of the complainant. There is in his judgment no sufficient ground for pr- proceeding and in such case he shall regard his reasons for so doing.